everyone. Today I thought I would show you what I'm going to do with my wilted bunch of spinach leaves. Um, it is a Tuscan soup that you can make in the crock pot and it's fairly easy. What you're going to need is a bunch of spinach leaves, one can of vegetable broth. It's supposed to be chicken, but I don't have chicken, so I'm using vegetable. One can of tomato paste, one can of cannelli cannellini beans, I think that's what it is. You can use white beans too one medium onion, one red bell pepper, Aria's been gnawing on this, so it's a little bit sad looking, a thing of grated Parmesan cheese, some rosemary, you can use fresh if you want, it doesn't say you have to, pepper, salt, and garlic powder. You're supposed to use fresh garlic, but I am actually allergic to fresh garlic, so I have to use garlic powder. And also over here, you need to have two chicken breasts. Since it's in the crock pot, I am just using frozen. You don't have to defrost it. It should be all ready to be cooked. Right, the first thing you're going to do is dice your onion. Right, and then we're going to dice up our red bell pepper. You're going to add with your chicken your dice stuff, and then the next step is to open all your cans and throw that in with the rest of it. Also make sure you drain and rinse your beans before you put them in. Okay, then you're gonna add two teaspoons of the garlic powder. salt and pepper to taste. I like a lot of salt and pepper in my soups. Probably not the most healthy. Then we're just going to stir it all up until it's fairly well combined. We're not going to add the spinach or the rosemary until the last 20 minutes. It cooks for 6 hours and 20 minutes on low. So now that it's all stirred up, I'm going to just put the lid on. I'm going to set my timer for six hours. And then when that goes off, we're going to add the spinach and the rosemary. And then at the end, we're going to take out the chicken and dice. All right, it is six hours later, and I am going to prepare my droopy spinach. Um, I'm just, I kept it all bundled up after I washed it just so I can cut the bottoms off because we really only want the leaves, or at least I only want the leaves. So we can just cut all that bit off. And I don't think we're gonna use all of it. This only requires two cups. Maybe use all of it to take out some sad pieces if you are using wilted spinach. Um, and I'm just gonna chop it into a little bit smaller bits, not a lot like that, just little bunches, little bundles, that way it's not giant. I know it will cook down a little, but I have little babies to feed and little mouths. All right, so after you have it all prepared, I'm gonna wash it again because I found some spots I missed and then I'm gonna add it to my soup. Right, so you're just gonna stir in your spinach until it's somewhat submerged so it can get cooked. And then 
we're going to add our rosemary. They say just to add as much as you want to taste. So I'm just going to do some sprinkles. I like rosemary, so I'll add quite a bit. Eh, that's good. And I'll stir that in also. Um, just a tip. Mine, I don't know if it's my crock pot or if it's just the recipe is not the best. Um, mine cooked down quite a bit to the point where I've already added one more of the bean sized cans of water to it. And I think I'm going to add one or two more just because it's not even really like a soup. So I'm going to add a couple more things of water and then I'm also going to add some chicken bouillon granules just to keep it flavorful. added two more cans of liquid to this. It's more of a soupy consistency now, kind of like I want. You could just add one more if you prefer it more like a stew. I'm going to have it soupy because my husband's not home and he doesn't like soup, so we're going to have this while he's not here. I also added quite a bit of chicken bouillon to it. I didn't measure, so it's just kind of up to you to taste however much you want. Everything, like the chicken, should be cooked now, so you don't have to worry about tasting it. Sorry about Arya screaming in the back background. She is having fun swiffering the floor. Also, fun fact Friday, the Spanish version of this chicken bouillon, even though it is the same brand as the chicken bouillon I used to buy, is a million times better. So if you're ever looking for a good brand, this right here is the most delicious thing in the whole entire world. The ingredients are a little bit different than the regular, which I find strange because it's supposedly the same thing, supposedly just chicken bouillon, but this one is amazing. All right, that's me doing a really bad job filming once my family came over for dinner, but I was quickly shredding up the chicken and putting in some Parmesan cheese. The Parmesan cheese is just to taste, so you can put in as much as you'd like. I put in quite a bit. That was also my stepsister lurking in the background and totally distracting me from what I was trying to do. But anyways, you put in your chicken and your Parmesan and then you stir it up to get your final product. This is what the soup looks like all plated up. It's not too exciting, but everyone really loved it. I'll leave the recipe down below, and if you like these kind of videos, let me know, and please remember to subscribe. Thanks for watching.